Hi, my name is Candace Johnson. This will be my fifth year riding with Ride Don't Hide. I think what keeps me coming back to Ride Don't Hide is um, definitely the companionship and camaraderie that you get from the other riders. Um, and I think a really big thing would be the accountability. So once I put my story out there to my family and friends and got that huge amount of support from them, um, they expect it from you in a good way. Like they expect that you're gonna do this, that you're gonna represent and it's like it brings everybody together and gives them something to cheer for and be happy about. So my brother passed away December 9th, 2011, uh, right before his 30th birthday. Um, he had been battling with depression. He just wasn't really willing to get the help. Um, and then he lost his battle, he took his life. I started a team called Markle Sparkle, which is after my brother, whose name is Mark, and his nickname in our family was Markle Sparkle. In a way, just so that his death wasn't in vain, so that good could come of it, um, so that other people could learn from his story and grow from his story and that it would help remove the stigma around other people coming forward. Um, so yeah, so he's doing good. After my brother passed away, um, I definitely started to be a bit reclusive. I stayed in my house a lot and didn't really want to go out and didn't really want to see people. Um, and I had a really good friend who recognized that I was struggling. They kept trying to get me on a bike ride. They said it's like easy enough and you'll enjoy it. Um, so yeah, we just did a tiny little bike ride around the community and from that day forward I've never gotten off my bike. It was such a therapeutic thing for me. After I started opening up about my own story, I started to realize that a lot of the stigma was in my own mind. I worried that people were going to judge me or that people were going to think less of me or think that I wasn't competent or as competent as I was putting forward. Um, but once I actually started talking, I didn't feel that stigma. I felt the support and the love and that people wanted to be there with you and alongside you in that. And it just gave you a type of confidence around your own mental health, knowing that they were going to be there beside you. I take care of my mental health by being active, by being outdoors a lot with Mother Nature, um, and by being honest with myself. So if there's something that my body is telling me I need, I make sure that I do that for my body. So whether it's eating properly or speaking with family or friends or getting outside and doing things, just being really honest with your needs. So I'm a mom now. Um, I have a two-year-old little girl named Danny Lynn, uh, and she's my world. Um, I would definitely say that becoming a mom has had a huge positive impact on my mental health. Um, whereas I used to struggle with my mental health and not um, always feel that I had a purpose. Now I have a driving force in my daughter. Um, and it's become more clear to me that it's really important for me to keep that mental health in check and keep it in check before those negative feelings start happening. I have healthier ways of dealing with them now that I'm aware of them. My support circle, they know if I'm starting to be a bit reclusive that it's their job to talk to me about it. I think it's important for all Canadians to partake in the Ride Don't Hide because I think that every single person in the world is impacted by mental health in one way or another. So join me June 26th at Ride Don't Hide.